Okay, so, well, hello there, YouTuber. So, first things first, a little bit of background. Um, in 2022, I decided to be a little more intentional and methodical about um, what I'm doing art-wise. Instead of just waking up and thinking, what shall I paint today? I've kind of got a plan. Um, and that came about as I take a small business administration uh, marketing course, which doesn't really help my marketing that much. Wasn't really what I'm looking for, but it, ha it had me do a marketing calendar and in the process of that, I had to think through kind of what I'm painting and when, and it really did help me because prior to that, I always miss Christmas. I miss Easter. I miss every holiday because I'm not prepared for it. Um, oh no, it's upon us. It's too late to sell the art. So this year I have it all planned out. And so what I had planned for May was May flowers. And so that's this collection. The entire month of May, I'm going to work on my florals um, just because I love florals and I love floral paintings and, um, you know, I want to be able to paint them. So that's the background on that collection, May flowers. So the entire month of May, I'm painting at least one floral a day, but sometimes more. Okay. So the second thing is I normally paint uh, nine by 12 and um you know it starts piling up and i haven't been selling recently so i started painting smaller and um those have been selling so that's that's good too um but and also i can paint more so i am this painting is called may um 18 i think it's the 18th painting in may not that it was painted on that day um and i <laughs> have known about Drew Brophy. He's a surfboard artist in Southern California. It's been pretty well known down there for a long time. He paints exclusively with Posca pens. And so um, I've always wanted to check them out and I had purchased this um, collection of Posca pens, but I hadn't really used them beyond making marks in my paintings because I didn't really know how I'm like, how am I going to use this in a painting? Well, for one thing, I got the 3M size and I probably should have got at least the 5M and maybe the bigger sizes. But anyway, I started watching some of his tutorials on um, YouTube. And so I kind of learned about how he blends them and how he uses them in his work. And he uses Posca almost exclusively. And uh, so, you know... Wow, that's kind of cool, right? Because how handy is that to have this in your pocket? And that's pretty convenient when you're out there painting. So I wanted to try doing a painting that was all with these Posca pens. So even though this painting is um, garishly, it's garishly bright. Um, it's because I'm not, I don't know how to mix the colors. And so... I don't know. This is the first time I ever tried to do an entire painting with Posca pens. Uh, another artist that I know that uses, that I follow on Instagram that utilizes Posca pens exclusively, she does her blending a little bit differently. She, um, she puts it, puts it down and then she, um, oh, sorry, this is May 16, not May 18. She puts the, the, um, you know, the marks down and then she uses a wet brush to blend it out, which is, and I was like, when I saw that, I was like, wow, okay, that makes sense, right? Um, and yeah, so of course you can do that and that, that works great, except for I wanted to utilize, I wanted to be utilized more along the lines of what your Brophy does because Obviously, it's a whole lot easier if you can take a pocket full of pens and make a painting and blend with just the pens um, than having to carry water, a brush. Part of the reason that I don't um, enjoy working with acrylics, especially recently, well, ever, is because, well, it ruins your clothes when you get it on your clothes, but also, like, it'll ruin your brushes if you don't get your brushes cleaned out well with soap and water, so I end up ruining a lot of brushes because I just, I leave them in water till I'm not too lazy to wash them out, and, um, so, yeah, the idea of being able to just paint a painting with these pens and have it look as great as Drew Brophy's work, that sounds pretty appealing. So, what I ended up doing, this was the first... 
um, time that I had ever painted an entire painting in Posca pens. And so that's why it's kind of garishly bright. That's the other thing. Because I couldn't figure out how to blend my colors. You know, it only comes with so many colors, right? And so, like, I needed to, I needed, I wanted to do a light yellow background. And that took a little bit of work to just kind of blend the colors. And then it was driving me crazy when I get the white on the yellow pin top. And, like, when you watch him work and other artists, I've seen guys that work with the Posca pens. They're using like the back of their hand to clean off that tip. And you know, that sounds great because it just washes right off your body. Oh, super great. Except the problem is I don't want to be marking, putting marker on my hand, but maybe a towel or something, you know, I got to clean the tip off. And then the other thing is I'm obsessed about it drying out. And then I'm like, I don't know if it's, it's not coming out right. And here's something I learned in this painting. I don't know if you can see it in this painting, but probably like several times now that I've used these a little bit, I'm painting along and uh, the paint's not coming out. So I kind of press the tip in so I can get some paint to come out and it leaves a big blob. And I go, oh yeah, right. And so now as I watch them do their work, I notice that um, they're avoiding that <laughs> for good reason. And so, yeah. So uh, I have been just, you know, I have everything set up and everything's working good with my computer and my phone and my recording. So I'm happy to be able to do these little recordings and I've been uploading them to TikTok. I mean, how great would it be if I could do one every day, but it's a little bit still, I have to find time to do like the voiceover and that sort of thing. But it seems to me it works out best if I just do the recording and don't worry about like talking or anything like that. And then mute it, speed it up as fast as it can. So it's not like, well, let's see, um, this video, I think it's like seven minutes and I'm speeding it up eight times as fast. So whatever seven times eight is, that's how long it took me to actually do this painting. Hey, thanks for checking out my channel. Thanks for watching my video. See you later. Bye.